Hello everyone, my name is Kishan Agarwal and today I am going to present my tech talk video of discrete mathematics structures. And my topic is video compression with binary tree recursive motion estimation and binary tree re re residue coding. So, brief introduction about the topic that is binary tree predictive coding. BTPC is an efficient general purpose still image comparison scheme competitive with JPEG for natural image coding and with GIF, GIF for graphics. We are going to see the extension of BTPC to video compression using motion estimation and comp compensation techniques which are simple, efficient non-linear and predictive the new methods binary tree recursive motion estimation coding and binary tree residue coding exploits the hierarchical structure of btpc in the first case giving progressively refined motion estimates for the increasing number of pulse and in the second case providing efficient residue coding compression results for btrmc and btrc are compared against conventional block based motion compensated coding as provided by MPEG. They show that both BTRMEC and BTRC are efficient methods to code video sequences. So, first of all, before going to the video compression, before getting into the topic, let us see what is a tree. A tree is a collection of nodes connected by or directed or undirected edges. A tree is a non-linear data structure compared to arrays, linked lists, stack and queue which are non which are linear data structures. Binary tree is defined as a tree data structure with at most two children since each element in a binary tree can have only two children we typically name them the left and right child. So, tree data structure is specialized method to organize and store data in computer to be used more efficiently. It consists of a central node, structural node and sub node which are connected via edges. We can also say that tree data structures has roots, branches and leaves connected to the one another. So, a tree consists of a root and a zero or more subtrees such that tree is an edge from the root of the tree to be the root of each subtree. So why trees is considered of non-linear data structure means that data in a tree are not stored in a sequential manner that is they are not stored linearly instead they are arranged on a multiple levels or we can say that it is a hierarchical structure for this reason the tree is considered to be the non-linear data structure. The basic parts of a tree are parent node, child node, root node, leaf node or external node, ancestor of a node, siblings, level of a node, internal node, neighbor of a node, subtree. Properties of a tree they are, that are the number of edges, depth of a node, height of a node, height of a tree, degree of a node. And some common properties are traversing in a tree is done by depth first search and breadth first search algorithm. It has no loop and no circuit. It has a self looping and it is also a hierarchical model. So what are the basic operations done on tree are we create a tree that is creating a tree data structure insert inserting data in a tree search searching for a specific data in a tree next pre-order traversal that is perform traveling a tree in pre-order manner in data structure in order to travel perform traveling a tree in in order manner post order traversal is perform traveling a tree in post order manner so let us see 
what is video compression video compression is the process of reducing the total number of bits needed to represent a given image or video sequence so video compression is most commonly performed by a programmer with a specific algorithm or formula for determining the best way to shrink the size of the data so audio is typically compressed for efficient resource utilization video compression is also very beneficial for the efficient use of storage due to the dramatically reduced file sizes comparison compression techniques are used extensively across all elements of today's computer and networking architecture so let's begin with our topic which is video compression with binary tree recursive motion estimation and binary tree residue coding so block matching techniques are most commonly used in video coding through considerable attention has also been given to pre recursive estimation so btrmec which, which is binary pre recursive motion estimation and coding is based on binary tree predictive coding that is btpc a still image comparison scheme designed to be general purpose in that it quotes all types of images photographics graphical documents reasonable reasonably well btpc can itself be adapted for intra coding of residue produced by a conventional block matching techniques so binary tree predictive coding btpc belongs to a family of interpolative coding schemes where pulses are ordered in bands of increasing sample density and samples in later bands are predicted from those in earlier ones which surrounds them spatially in common with some earlier schemes btpc's bands form a binary pyramid with each having the number of samples of its predecessor during encoding at each level a band of pulse values ln is split into two sub bands that is ln plus 1 and hn plus 1 with half as many pulses as ln so ln plus 1 is a simple down sampling of ln done by removing every even pulse on every odd numbered row and every odd pulse on every even numbered row so the result is a square lattice oriented at 45 degrees to the original pell grid with spacing between points increased by p2 hn plus 1 stores the difference between the two values of the intervening pells and predicted value based on neighboring l pells the l channel is then further subsampled and processed to produce another l by h pair each iteration rotates the sampling lattice by 45 thus every band consists of a square or diamond lattice of points taken directly from the original picture by uniform sub sampling this is no pre filtering or transformation of any kind the bands form a binary pyramid where a small sparse bands are coded first as well as allowing the use of spare samples in prediction of later more finely spaced samples in btpc a binary tree overlays the structures so that areas of zero can be coded efficiently using leaf code words in the earliest possible bands so this is the example of block of image pell showing membership in four finest four bands of the binary pyramid and next diagram shows the block diagram of btpc encoding for bands hs there is an input frame which is split into bands that are l8 h8 h7 so on up to h1 and then the finally three half man coder channel is the output so block wise motion compensated binary tree residue coding the first way to apply btpc to video sequence is to use it 
as a residue coder for traditional block based motion coding. Block based estimation usually relies on block matching, finding corresponding blocks in two frames according to the minimization of the mean square error or the mean absolute error. The estimation can be improved to half pell accuracy, interpolating the pells on a four times finer grid. Typically, half pell accuracy search is over a small area centered around a previously determined full search full pell accuracy estimation. Commonly, DCT coding is used to code difference between motion compensated prediction blocks and actual picture values MPEG that is both use of DTs, DCT. More recent systems sometimes use wavelets for residue coding using BTPC instead to code these residues gives a scheme which we denote as MC or BTRC. The change in name from predictive coding to residue coding occurs from experimental results which showed that the system was most effective for compressing residues when the prediction stage was removed. The, this reflects the well-known observation that well-predicted image should leave residue that have minimal spatial correlation. We also found experimentally that best result with the scheme were obtained with a constant quantization step size across leaves of the BTRC coder. Next is binary tree recursive motion estimation coding. The main drawback of block based motion estimation is the poor treatment of motion boundaries. Next we describe a new way of doing motion estimation and compensation which directly uses hierarchical structure of BTPC. This method is BTRMEC. The motion estimation is done at each level of a binary pyramid built by splitting the current frame into subbands in the same as BTPC. Starting from the top of a pyramid, that is to say the coarsest subsampled band, the motion vectors of each band are obtained using points from all the previous bands. So around any particular pixel in the current band, there is a lattice of points from earlier bands. Using a Gaussian weighted mask to define a region around the current pell, a local lattice of sample is identified for matching against the previous frame. For each point P of the considered H band, we have to minimize the difference between the mask in the current frame and the one in the previous frame over a certain search area S. More precisely, let C of X be the luminance in the current frame, P of X in the previous frame and wi the weight of each point of the lattice then we have to minimize the quantity that is summation of wi from c of p plus i minus p of x plus i where x goes through the search area centered on p the prediction is then obtained by shifting the values of the point x minimum that is minimum value of x in the previous frame to the place p and residue in the difference between the prediction and the current frame. Experiments have shown that the values of these residues are small and decorrelated so that any spatial prediction applied on them is ineffective. They are very simple but efficiently coded using a binary tree. The pyramidal structure allows us to progressively refinement motion estimation as pro proposed by Wang and Clack and used also in the work of Armento AI. We take motion vector estimation for the previous band as initial search point for current band. The initialization of the motion vector is done from the average of the motion vectors of the four surrounding points. 
this reduces this reduces the size of the search region for the later bands and therefore speeds up algorithm improving at the same time the accuracy of the estimation the initialization also enables the predictor to estimate motion over a larger range each band is quantized independently using fine quantization for the early sparse small bands and coarse quantization for the later dense large bands though empirical testing we have found that uniform quantization with a spacing increasing from one band to the next by a constant multiplying factor gives good results let q of n be the quantization step of band n then we get q of n plus 1 is equals to q of n into 1.18 so considering once more the hierarchical structure of the encoder the size of the gaussian lattice may be <coughs> adjusted from level to level so that motion estimates in the later finer bands can be more local and therefore less sensitive to motion boundaries we find that varying the standard deviation of the gaussian with the example spacing gives good performance that is <coughs> the standard deviation is multiplied from one level to the next by a factor according to the grid dilation that is p2 this means that we use the same number of points for matching each band next is computational complexant it has previously been shown that btpc runs as quickly as dpeg similarly mc by btrc has been implemented to run an approximately the same speed as mpeg in both cases the encoder consists of motion estimation and residue coding while the decoder involves blocking shifting and residue decoding the only difference is the handling of residue and mpeg uses a very simpler or similar method to jpeg for this while for both mc or btrc and mpeg the decoder is considerably less complex than the d encoder btrmc requires motion estimation to be done at both the encoder as well as the decoder furthermore a motion estimate is made for each pell so we calculate the number of operations per pell MPEG encoding complexity is proportional to the number of points in search areas used in motion estimation algorithm for each point of search area taken in the previous frame BTRMEC calculates the MAE with all points of the gaussian mask which gives the complexity proportional to the given expression when n is a complex number of bands w is the points in the matching mask S of I is the search area in band, and I is the dividing factor corresponding to the weight of each band. Experiments. We evaluated the performance of BTRMC and BTRC in the range of one to five MB per second, aiming at the same applications and data rate of MPEG one, which was used for comparison. We concluded that. experiment with many video sequences and here presents representative results for two natural video sequences mobile calendar and flower garden and a computer generated animation aircraft these sequences are interesting because of the complex motion and detailed picture content in addition the animation represents a typical example of multimedia sequence mixing graphics and text a sentence appears and the disappears at the bottom of a image while an aircraft carrier graphics crosses the screen we evaluated the method using the number of bits per pell that is bpp and peak signal noise ratio that is psnr we compared mc or btrc and btrmc with mpeg in common with MC or BTRC use full search block matching with half pell accuracy motion estimation followed by variable word length coding of motion vectors MPEG also avoids coding blocks in which too little activity has occurred skip the macro blocks and is also able to code using in frame coding into blocks where it gives an advantage in mc or btrc we use exactly the same rules as mpeg 
that is very similar to jpeg in macro blocks and coded where the same in each case so mc or btrc therefore differs from true mpeg only in coding of the residue however btrmc cannot take advantage of these mpeg refinements to the basic motion estimation algorithm and by its nature codes the whole at a every time so these are the results obtained after the ex experiments so in conclusion the good performance of mc or btrc highlights the fact that motion compensated block by block prediction is a very efficient way of encoding moving pictures as a method with spatial prediction or spatial transformation btrc is superior and convenient residue coding showing the successful intraframe coding schemes are not necessarily appropriate choices for intraframe coding the competitive performance of btrmc shows that there are many ways place for recursive motion coding schemes that do not explicitly transmit motion vector for use spatial coding for the residue in this combination of these two properties it is very similar to the earliest pell recursive method yet achieves coding rates competitive with the current standard it has been noted in still picture coding with btpc that an improvement of 2 db is achieved when the bands are coded with independent half man coder it is further work of systematic study of coder design and adaptive modeling and compression with btrmc thank you